Yo, what's up guys, it's me Sezzle. Today I'm going to talk about Elder Scrolls Online. Today I'm going to show you the spot, which is right here. Here's the map right now of the place I farm at. So this is a spot I farmed at for CP 100 to 300. And this spot I'm still going to farm at after the 100% XP boost. Because of this 100% XP boost, tons of people are going to get high CP. And tons of people are going to get high levels around CP 10. But they're not going to realize, holy shit... They're high CP, but they have no fucking gear set. They have no monster set. Their Untaunted is level 3. And they're gonna grind and grind and grind even more than they are. So I would suggest playing the game how it should be played once the 100% XP boost runs out. Uh, I'm sure like farming this area and getting high CP is alright. But another thing you could do is just keep farming dungeons. You want to get your Undaunted leveled up. You want to get your Undaunted level up because you get nice passes from it. When you only the only way to upgrade that is to do fucking dungeons, dungeons and dungeons and dungeons, because you get minimum small XP from doing dungeons. So you guys want to do that. So yeah, I want you, I want to let you guys know that when you get to a high CP in this game, or at least a decent amount of CP, let's say 300, maybe 450, just relax, just farm tons of dungeons, because once you get to Undaunted 10, you should be low 600 by then. If not, then maybe around 550. So that's the thing, uh, I would say this spot's really good because back in the old days when veteran level was a thing, I farmed from VR 1 to 5 here, which was pretty decent and I, you know, farmed here also for materials which earned you a ton of money. I would say farm the right side if you do want materials because there's always farm guilds or farm uh, groups over there farming these guys with either uh, a banker and a, and a merchant uh, with them. Uh, now, second thing, I mean, a third thing I want to show you, uh, tell you guys is, you know, if you guys do want to join a guild, join my guild. This is uh, going to be a nice guild. It's going to be one of the best guilds that's going to be out there and, because I, I'm going to run it. That's why it's going to be one of the best guilds. Uh, I'm running it with Shamal 116. Uh, I'm also looking for a, second, a third co-leader for the guild maybe to help me run it as well. Pretty much, you know, the guild's looking looking great. I'm getting, like, people in. But, you know, at the moment, it's hard to advertise my guild considering that, you know, you know everyone in zone chat's a piece of shit most of the time. And I know the good players don't really talk in zone chat or, you know, talk in general with their voice chat. So it's hard to invite people. And I normally invite people during the dungeon, but that's it. So I hope if you guys do want to check that out, and I would recommend checking it out, you know, down in the description below is Shamel's name. And you want to add him and tell him, you know, put me in the guild and he will put you in the guild. He's running that section of the guild. So I hope you guys do enjoy this quick video of me talking about ESO CP300 and uh, why you guys should just relax and not fucking exhaust yourself farming for CP600 farming mobs. Because you're going to end up getting CP600 because everyone that PVEs has to get on down to 10 in my opinion. So yeah, that's, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and will enjoy more ESO videos in the future. Peace.